The favorite thing to do is to go up and down the stairs together. It's like a little cute game they play. Pepper will dig up pillows and blankets on the floor and will eventually bury underneath the blanket and Lola always tries to find her. Lola tries to get Pepper to chase her. She will zoom around the house and go right up to her with her tail wagging in the air, but Pepper just kind of stares at her. <laughs> I remember the first time they met, we slowly put Lola on the couch next to Pepper, and Pepper hopped over to Lola and just started sniffing her, and Lola licked Pepper, and that was it. Pepper grooms Lola, and Lola grooms Pepper. Lola was diagnosed with syringomyelia, which can be an extremely painful disease. On really bad days, Pepper seemed to know that Lola needed her, and we actually decreased her pain medication because um, she seemed to be getting better with just snuggling with Pepper. Lola was having a really bad day with her syringomyelia and was kind of whining or purring out a kind of a sound, and Pepper hopped over to Lola and started rubbing her nose all over Lola's face. Then Lola calmed down and fell asleep. Pepper seemed to be the only thing that calmed her down. Uh, Pepper is pretty much the boss. Lola will only go exploring if Pepper leads the way. Pepper loves to go to the park with Lola. Pepper is probably less of a rabbit and more than of a dog. Lola will get the super down and they both will rip up and eat the entire <laughs> toilet paper roll. But I think Pepper enjoys the toilet paper way more than Lola. So I think Pepper's actually the ringleader in the toilet paper debacle. Definitely do think they have um, a communicative relationship. She's very shy meeting other dogs or any other animals, um, but she uh, just adores Pepper. She just wants to be with Lola all the time and snuggle with her and be with her.